so anyway, taking ourselves back to the present moment is one of the best things that we can do because then you're running the game. You are running the game, woman, and not your body of subconscious patterns, okay? Number two. Here's number two. Um, who's journaling now? Write the word journal in the comments below if you are journaling these days, okay? I want you to, um, this is a suggestion, and you can write this down for tomorrow for your journaling practice. Write down four thoughts that you're going to stay conscious of every day. And what I mean by that is, we have, like I said, 60, 80,000 thoughts going through our head a day. And a lot of them, we're ruminating about the past, we're asking ourselves, oh man, I wonder what would have happened if I did this differently, or I took action here. I want you to write down four thoughts that you're going to stay conscious of every day. Four thoughts that you're going to stay conscious of every day. And those are thoughts that are running in your mind. And now that you're aware, you're going to be aware of four thoughts that you're going to stay conscious of every day. You're going to go, wow, I didn't even know those were running. They're running in a program in your mind and you're not even paying attention to it because they've become such habit, okay? So find four thoughts that you're going to stay conscious of every day. And what I want you to look for is thoughts that are taking you from being in the present moment to the past. I want you to go into thoughts that could be limiting beliefs about yourself. Thoughts that create fear or obstacles in you. And what you'll, what you'll realize and what you'll come up with is that you're going to come up with thoughts that you weren't even conscious about that you were having because there's so much a part of you, okay? So write down what you speak, how you speak, how you act. And here's the interesting thing. I was listening to uh, Joe Dispenza this morning. And that's where I got some of this material for tonight. And here's the question. It's like, do we have a victim consciousness or a victor consciousness? It's like, do you have a growth mindset or do you have a... Um, uh, a fixed mindset, okay? And so victim consciousness is really a self-automatic running program. And you can be running guilt and with guilt and not even know it because guilt has become so much of your normal pattern, right? It's just really interesting how that happens. So write down what you speak and how you speak it and have an awareness around that. Because it's amazing that when we reframe words and phrases and thoughts, how we can turn them into power words for us. Words have power, ladies and gentlemen. They have power. And you know this. Because some words that people spoke over you maybe in the past are still sitting with you and ruminating and they're not true about you, but they hurt you. And they created wounds. And we can we can get beyond those. Take some work. Take some skills. I've got those those tools in my buckets and all my coaching programs. Examples. Gail, what would you like an example of? Um, 